UFC. A fighter needs someone to push him to be great. McGregor had Diaz. Jones had Cormier. And Silva had Sonnen. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest? Or give up bragging rights once and for all? All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Tom Breeze and Bruce Lee. All right, so here he is, folks. The wait is nearly over for this one. Unquestionably a rivalry fight. These guys have really stolen the show during fight week, jawing at each other at the weigh-in. No love lost between these two fighters. Only one man can have his hand raised here tonight. Let's see who can bottle the emotions and produce here on the world's biggest stage. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He can do it all. If the fight takes place standing or on the ground, he's going to be comfortable in all areas of the game. So as this knockout force makes his way to the octagon, Joe, this is not a guy you want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade punches with. You get in a slugfest with this guy, more often than not, you're concussed, twitching on the canvas. You can be sure he'll be looking to make contact and find a home for those heavy hands early and often. Power for days, power in all of his strikes. Scary, scary addition to this division, and a guy who a lot of people believe will be an immediate contender. This guy is a dirty boxer. He likes to get the clinch, keep this fight at close range where he can land devastating uppercuts and punches. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Four years apart with big difference in height, but a similar reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Walter White division. This is the first. Fighting at the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. And now we produce his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Tom Reeves. When the action begins, I went for charge and hardly out to him. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? Fighting out of the southpaw stance. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway of this rivalry fight here tonight. Perhaps there will be a little bit of a feeling out process here. Both guys were trying to put the emotions out of the equation here tonight. But it is rival versus rival under the lights here tonight. Oh, man, alive. Another head. Oh! Wow! Do you believe it? Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Take a look at this from a different angle. And he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata is going to stop this contest. 
at 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so the celebration is on in the corner, and he has certainly earned it after coming through and coming up large in this rivalry fight here tonight. He wanted this one in the worst way, and man, did he seize the spotlight here in this one.